just fell in love And I just quit my job I'm gonna find no drive Damn, they work me so damn hard Work by night Then I'll pass by And they work my nerves That's why I cannot sleep at night guys in my last vlog that I was heading to Scotland so right now I just want to do a very quick makeup just very minimal makeup because I'm currently at my friend's house my friend that I went for a grad in my last episode 3 of this travel series basically so I'm in Scotland and um, I'm in Glasgow city in Scotland so I'm going to do my makeup, just a very quick makeup because I want to step out to get some essential items like at the convenience store. So I've been here for like a couple of days but I have not gone out at all because I didn't just feel like, I just feel like I just needed the rest just to stay indoors for a couple of days just to <laughs> reset and just be calm, you know, you understand. This is like the third day right now that i've been here i've just been indoors eating watching movies chilling working so yeah i just want to go get some things i don't really like inconvenience if i'm staying with them like my boyfriend was in his house like i literally didn't want to do anything like it just took care of me and everything but then my friend's house i don't want inconvenience how i drink that i just don't like it so i'm just going to a convenience store i just want to get like a few things that i can eat i can make for us to eat and all that that it's like i don't know it's just me i don't like inconveniencing people currently on my way y'all and i'm using google maps to find my way to this store there was a feature my friend told me about on google maps it's called live live map feature like the live map feature i've never heard about it before so it basically tells you when to turn and everything and it uses your phone camera so you're literally showing the map like a view of where you are and then there are arrows that tells you to turn left like the arrow literally shows you turn left tells you to be careful that's usually what i'm using now and it's so nice Whew, feels good to be outside <laughs> Going back home right now yeah, i'm so happy i was able to find my way honestly like the live map is so effective oh my gosh oh my gosh but anyways um yeah i'm just gonna go back home right now because i've not eaten anything yet so i just wanted to eat something new different i bought this instant noodle stuff i don't know i'm gonna try it out because it's different so. We are going to be heading over to do some shopping. I actually will be doing some shopping actually. I'm just get some you know things for like loved ones and yeah. Still in Scotland. So just got my makeup done and I've been watching YouTube videos. So I was watching Bella Sabo's vlog. She was on a trip with her main and Punta Cana. That's basically what I'm watching right now. So yeah, my lashes are all out. Can you guys see? My lashes are all out. I just have this little one left. My nails are already coming out, which is making me feel so like not put together. Like it's just so be like this is horrible. Like this is so horrible. But honestly, nothing I can do about it. I was thinking of actually like ordering um press on nails from Amazon then take this one out but like how will i take this out because if i'm trying to break it out myself my heart 
I don't have the resources to take it out. So I really don't know what I'm going to do right now. Because next week, I have like an event that I feel like I need to look good for. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But anyways, I'm actually like kind of like dressed. I'm just going to put on my shrugs on this. And I'm going to wear my wig and my footwear. And then we're going to be out the door. <laughs> So y'all, I don't know why I'm shy to talk to you guys when my friend is here. We are going to the mall right now. We're going to the city center actually. So I've been wanting earrings, like stud earrings. I don't know if I should get this one. Honestly. Or people ever look down on Primark like they actually have quality things and they are not cheap like maybe like when you are dealing with your currency it's a little bit affordable when you're dealing with Naira y'all it's not cheap like this right now it's 11 pounds do you know what 11 pounds is in Naira that is about 23,000 Naira they're not cheap please like people need to just stop looking down on this brand because honestly i got a cool things like i actually got a number of cool things from them in manchester so <laughs> i'm here again to check for what else i need because i think they're just good for essential items i think they're really good for essential items and honestly don't look down on primark <laughs> i don't know why people do so like look at these shirts i want to get this shirt because i actually need a black shirt i told you guys in my travel prep vlog i want to get a black shirt but i never got it so i'm thinking of getting this one it's kind of linen linen material and it is 10 pounds that's like 21 000 naira if we're converting to naira and someone come and tell me that primark is cheap like they actually have cool things like honestly cool things did i tell you guys that the last time i went to primark in manchester like a day before i traveled to scotland i saw the black um leather jacket that i wanted in primark like the last time i went to primark and i had already bought the cream leather jacket and i saw it in my size like you know the last time i was trying to get the black leather jacket it was quite small for me but like i saw one that was in my size but i didn't get it because i already got the cream jacket and i already got this black jacket because i wanted a black jacket this is from primark as well so like i already got this i was like there's no point getting the black leather jacket so maybe like another time i don't even want to get it now so this is really nice but i have like a lot of black a little transparent actually okay oh the back is actually opened this is actually really nice but i have a lot of black sleeveless tops so when it comes to buying things for me i like to buy essential things things i know i need not things i want and not things that i already have because that's the only way i can manage my money better yes i am very frugal sometimes um yeah so i'm just only getting things that are essential to me period and save up I use the money for other things like troops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, look at the leather jacket. Oh my gosh. Can you see? The black. This is the cream I got. See the black of it, y'all. 17 pounds, which is about almost, let me say, 36,000 naira, y'all. 
<laughs> I got the cream and this is the black. Honestly, I would really love to get it, but because I already got the black jacket as I told you guys, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Uh, it's so pretty though. Something I can just start with anything. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. So this is what the shirts look like. I just came to try it on. And the linen shirts. I don't ever like it. But I hate when my shirts have this big poof shit. <laughs> It's been a long day, a long ass day. I just got me some Uber Eats, y'all, because I'm so hungry and I just felt like eating something different. So they decided to order me some papiers and i've been wanting to try puppies as well so hi guys good morning so i'm just having breakfast and i was like let me just come talk to you guys i'm sure it looks like i'm just relaxing obviously because i feel like that's what this scotland trip is for me i feel like it's just like me trying to you know decompress trying to just recharge from all the activities i've had in the past weeks so basically i'm not really going much I'm not going out much here even my friend roommate was literally like is this how i stay at home and i don't feel bored and i'm like yeah like <laughs> i'm a homebody like literally a homebody i only go out when necessary if there's an activity if it's something i want to do like i just want to explore or something and sometimes i just want to just go back into hiding and just relax and recharge you know for the next extrovert ish activity that i need to do and everything because i am going to be traveling tomorrow i'm going to birmingham so i'm going to meet my boyfriend at manchester and from manchester we're going to travel together to birmingham when i get to birmingham i'll give you guys you know a little story or you guys will literally see what i'm going to be up to in birmingham so yeah um so now i'm just like relaxing resting eating working as well and then just you know watching these videos watching movies like it's just like a very calm moment for me right now and i'm loving it i'm loving it so far just let me just come in and check on you guys i think last time i spoke was i think i last left off when i went to the city center to shop with my friend yeah the last time I left her was when we went to the city center to shop, bought some things. I told you I was going to buy like some things for my loved ones. And I also bought some for my friend because I wanted to buy some from her. Let's buy from Nigeria. But I was like, I think it's just better because for me, honestly, like I prefer to know what you want than I buy for you because I'm wasting any money. I'm not going to waste my money and buy something that you won't even try like. So I made sure that she just picked out something that she wanted. And yeah, I got it for her, and then yeah, all that stuff that I bought for my loved ones and all. And I just bought a few things for myself, just a few things. That's literally what I've been up to. And right now, I think I have. Some I currently boarded my train. I just left my friend, so um, the train is going to leave by 8 a.m. and I just boarded the train. It's going to leave in like one minute actually. So the train is finally moving. I am going to Manchester, as I said earlier. I think I spoke to you guys like a couple days ago. So from Manchester, I'm going to get a coach to Birmingham. I'm my boyfriend at Manchester, then we'll head to Birmingham from there. 
So yeah, I think I'm going to sleep because I woke up pretty early today. I'm glad I had breakfast. It's currently 8 a.m. So it's gonna be a long ride because it's gonna be like three hours. Basically, I'm still gonna stop at another train station at Preston, then from Preston I get another train. Anyways, I think I'm just going to try and take a nap for a bit and. Manchester I am so happy to be back but then I'm not staying here for long because I'm going to Birmingham so um, we're going to like use a coach we're not going to use a train this time around so it's just nice that I'm exploring these transport system because honestly like the transport system is so good the transport system is really like really really good so um, it's very quick you have to be there on time and yeah the experience is really amazing so we're going to birmingham by it's currently like almost 12 o'clock i think our coach is by 12 30 or so i think so anyways this is where i'm at i don't think i showed you guys an outfit check so just to show you guys an outfit check i will show you guys an outfit check so let me show you guys my outfit So you guys finally made it to Birmingham in one piece. <laughs> Currently like four o'clock, almost four o'clock right now. And we are at this really cute fancy hotel apartment, if I should call it that. The main reason actually that we're here is for my boyfriend's master's graduation, which is happening tomorrow. And I'm so proud of him because he graduated with a distinction distinctions y'all and i'm so proud of him because i know how much work he put into this and producing with a distinction in computer science like masters in computer science it's it's a lot it's a lot of work because i knew how much work he put into it i mean i was like we really through it all even if i didn't write the exam <laughs> even if i didn't write the exam i mean i knew how everything was going for him and i knew how much work he put into it you know and um, yeah i'm really proud of him so we're here that's the main reason why we are in Birmingham 
and we currently just lodged into this hotel it's actually like an apartment hotel like a hotel apartment i'm going to show you guys just a quick room tour it has like everything an apartment should have like your kitchen washing machine oven like you get microwave fridge everything it's just so really cool pots everything it's just really cool comfy like a very fancy hotel so i'm going to quickly show you guys like a quick quick room tour so right now i'm going to try and just lay everything i will wear tomorrow because it's going to be like an early event do you understand it's going to start early basically so i have to like get ready put my things in order the outfit i'm going to wear and then my nails i ordered um press on nails because i cannot go like this i'm going to be meeting like some important people tomorrow if you know you know <laughs> So we're meeting some important people tomorrow and I cannot be looking crusty so I ordered like some personal nails which I'm going to wear this around today you know just to just get ready for tomorrow because it's going to be I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it like everything like the after celebration after the main graduation event everything I'm just looking forward to it and the people I'm going to meet and it's just going to be a very you know memorable day for me yeah so i just pray everything goes well so i just hope i'll be able to vlog but then i'm looking forward to it you know just to celebrate my man you know because he's graduating with a distinction you know it's not easy like you people are graduating with distinction huh it's not easy and i'm just grateful to god for you know guiding him and giving him the result that he always wanted so anyway i just wanted to give you guys like a quick quick you know updates as we just you know landed in and I'm looking forward to what the city holds for me. I'ma take a bougie ass to Rodeo and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take her whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just did whatever she want. Talking about another from the Nella as I want. Hit it in the shop, made her tell me what she want. Like I'm singing, miss, I made her tell me what she want. She on a pie trip again. I know power got me buying again. Friends ain't jacking me, you must be lying to your friends. They don't want my visa with the giants up again. Shining once again. Ran it up, I told her mama, shot in my DMs. Now I'm right back in. Nah, huh. Locked in. Shotty got that dress on, so the block is hot again. Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a head, yeah. Got her ass again. Then she got it tripping off another yet again. Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again. Close on my emotions, then I rush and let her in. Hurry up and let her in. I'ma take a bougie ass to Odell and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take up whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just took it whatever she want. Talking about another, I'm finna nail her ass at home. Hit it in the shop, made her tell me what she want. Like I'm singing, Maze, I made her tell me what she want. <laughs> Yeah, I just discovered the view. Oh my gosh, like this is so pretty. Okay, let me see. Wow, like look at the view. This is so nice. So pretty. So freaking pretty. <laughs> So right now, I want to do my nails. I've been doing like a lot of arranging for tomorrow. So I already ironed my clothes. I already like set my shoes aside, you know, all this kind of stuff. Straighten my hair because I need to look good tomorrow. You get it so right now i want to make my nails y'all um i told you guys i ordered presto nails because crusty has nails so i ordered from amazon and i've not even checked if it's the correct nails that is in it so i'm sure it would be like of course it should be 
so this is what i got i got a very neutral just my style you know my kind of nails i didn't want anything extra i wanted something that will go with the outfit i'm going to wear because i'm wearing like a pink dress so i just want something it needs to be extra but like still minimal this girl i'm trying to see so this is what it looks like so I'll quickly just do that right now and probably just rest because I feel so tired after the everything I use this right now. So of course it comes with adhesive tabs. Came with adhesive tabs, the filer and the cortical pusher. Adhesive tabs would have to work. Come back six, wake me and your child And then won't lay today Make me wonder who you might have been playing with Makes me wonder who I just really love how I accessorize this look, the earrings, the snake necklace, the particular name they call this necklace, I can't remember. Like everything is just sitting well. You guys remember this dress? This is a dress that I was going to wear for a wedding, that the wedding I couldn't wear it for. The lips just look good. Like I just like this makeup. It's the best makeup I've done. Graduates. <laughs> the graduates. So it's all ready. I love that it looks good. It looks so good. I love the suit on him and everything. And yeah, I just want to look like you know the graduate girlfriend. Like it's a bit obvious. You guys you get it? You get it? But then, yeah, all done. Alright y'all. So quick what would CD. I'm just wearing this really nice dress. You guys remember this dress? And I'm wearing nice. this black shoes. <laughs> my everyday bag and gold accessories and yeah we are out here Actually early, but then I had to come in with him as well because he needed to get his gown. But then this is me. This is Kibara, mm -hmm. Professor Hanifa Sharma, to commence the presentation of award holders. Give it up.
So trying to get ready. I won't be really able to vlog as much. Like I've just been trying my best to just live in the moment. And yesterday was a memorable day. It was just a day that I was just happy to have experienced. It was just really calm and it was just very intimate. We just had a very intimate gathering after the girl, which was so nice. It was just something that you know, I kind of think we're going to boring in Birmingham. So it's basically where all the, you know, amazing shops are, all the stores, just a very, very cool central place in Birmingham. And I actually can't wait to just go there because, yeah, I want to experience Birmingham a bit. I think that the lips is really what makes a whole makeup. Like the lips, y'all. Lips. One. What's going on, girl? Alright. So, y'all, I am all dressed and ready. I'm going to quickly show you guys my full look in the mirror. But then, right now, we are heading out to tour Birmingham. Like, we're going to use the double decker bus because I just feel like it gives you a wider view of the city than using the cab. And I want to just stay up. You know, just want to experience everything, experience it, if that makes sense. My nails. This is why I don't like press on nails, y'all. They're already like coming off, which is so embarrassing. At this point, I'm just gonna try my best to hide it how I can. So this is the full look. I'm just wearing this white shirt, my white shirt, and I'm wearing my brown slides, my everyday black bag, white shades, silver accessories, and um yeah i'm gonna just throw on this black and white sweatshirt i need you know for some style and yeah only been a few hours but it felt like days only been days but it felt like months we gone for a year only no like once life move fast when you do what you want at this time I'm doing what i want hope you know what you want So y'all, we're currently at Boring, the biggest mall, biggest mall, right, in Birmingham. Alright, so I think it's like the biggest mall and we used the double-decker bus to get here. And it was quite nice, relieving, I mean, wider view of the city. So, anyways, <laughs> let me film me outside. I'll talk to you guys later. So, thinking of getting my perfume now. For a new perfume, y'all. So, I got a new perfume, y'all. <laughs> I got a new perfume, the Prada Paradox perfume that I went to send in Manchester. I decided to just get it right now because I just wanted, I just wanted to be, you know, added to my collection. It's just like a perfume that I've always wanted. But then I'll show you guys when we get back. But yeah, here it is. So happy. <laughs> We came to get gelato, <laughs> and it is really nice. 
Mm. Not gonna lie, I really enjoyed my holiday. Like the past month has just been amazing and it's just nice. You get to just catch a break from Nigeria and I'm grateful to God to be able to, you know, experience all of this, all I've experienced and thank you to my boyfriend for making this trip a memorable one. I think that's to be the best gelato I've had. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm trying to get ready for our dinner. We have reservations for dinner by 9 p.m. I'm all dressed, but then I just want to do my lip combo because honestly, in the past couple of days, I realized that um, your lip combo really makes your makeup. Like, yeah, you might do all your concealing and all of that, but your lip combo literally makes your makeup so i'm gonna do one right now i just hope it makes it so this is how my lips is looking without gloss gloss makes it better like your glossy lips makes it all better so I'm just gonna add just a little bit, it doesn't have to be too much, but just make sure that the lips is glossy. So this is literally the lip combo that I'm doing. I just wanted something really soft so because of what I am wearing. Let me just quickly show you guys the OTN outfit of the night and I'll be out. So this is my outfit of the night. So I'm just wearing this black bodysuit and my black jeans and my black pumps. Like this particular outfit here, I've been wanting to try this particular outfit because I just like black pumps with white leg jeans, you know, baggy jeans, whatever. So I just love how it looks with this particular jeans. This outfit has been my mind for like forever. I just hope I get a picture in it. And that is literally my outfit and we are out here Amazing food is like it's so filling and it's a lot, so like, bro, like such an amazing dinner, like, well thought through. Thanks, my baby. It was all worth it, like, it was all worth it. The food, so nice and tasty. This drink, the best, the best, like, literally had like two cans, could just taste so nice. Like the hot, it's just a very nice experience because I've actually not had um, hot pots like 
restaurants, whatever. I've never had it for my first time. And having this here in Birmingham, in this restaurant, like, it was just nice. I feel like it was like a very thoughtful dinner day. And I loved it. And for my last night, oh my gosh, y'all, this is my last night in the UK. And this dinner is just the best to just wrap up the whole trip, my vacation, my holiday. It was just. It's just a very nice night to just wrap it up for my last night here. So anyways, um, it sucks to leave. It really sucks to leave. It sucks to leave. I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss this place. I'm just gonna miss everything. But I'm just so happy for the experience. I feel like I literally like utilize every single day of my trip here in the UK. But then anyways, um I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going back to Nigeria tomorrow. And I think I'll just wrap up the vlog today when I'm leaving the UK. And um, anyways, I uh, would, yeah, this is good night because I don't think I've got my phone today again. the end of this vlog today is the day that i'm going to be going back to nigeria actually i'm going to get to nigeria tomorrow because y'all know the drill the flight is a longest flight so from manchester i'm going to get a flight there to doha then from doha i'll get another flight to nigeria probably like tomorrow morning or something because my flight is this night in manchester so still in birmingham but then i'm going to leave here to Birmingham like towards the afternoon-ish evening time but before I wrap up the vlog I just remember that I'm not sure you guys the perfume I saw I was going to like wrap it up and just forget about showing you guys but I was like let me just show you guys I'm not going to unbox the perfume yet but I want to create like a reel for this um I want to create a reel for this perfume just show some content basically so this is the perfume I got Prada Paradox. So you guys remember in Manchester, my last vlog, I scented the Prada Paradox original and then the intense version. I think you guys would have seen it in that last vlog. So I was trying to decide on which one I want because I knew that I needed to get not like I needed to, I wanted to get another, you know, quality perfume to add to my collection so that I can be interchanging it with my um Givenchy. So this is my Givenchy perfume. I just wanted another quality perfume that I'm going to be interchanging with. And I'm just happy to add this to my collection. I also have the Zara perfume as here already. So anyways, it smells so good. Like I still have to scent it again at the store. It smells so good. Like I'm so happy. Like when I got this Givenchy, it was a contemplation between Givenchy and Prada Paradox. I was really contemplating which one to get. But I knew that I've always wanted the Givenchy perfume. Givenchy perfume is more like a night scent, but it's nice for any time. I want to use this more like for special events, daytime scents. If you get, I'm just happy. I'm just really happy that I get it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the vlog right now. Not to talk too much because really not too much to say. I've already packed my bags. I have my box. I have my tote bag, and then this bag. I think I got it the last vlog as well. It has like some of the new things I bought. So this is basically what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this. I'm wearing my sweatpants and I'm going to carry my black jacket. And this time around, I'm making sure that I don't forget my jacket. Yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed watching my travel series. We've really come to an end of my travel series. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in whenever next video that i try to create because honestly i feel like i want to just take a break from content creation for a little bit just a little bit so yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for your lovely comments i hope you guys were able to vicariously travel through my vlogs i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i hope you guys also gained some things 
from all things I said, information, all the places I traveled to. Like, I'm so grateful to God. It's really good that I could have done all of this. You know, that made everything possible. Two countries, five cities, and I'm like, wow. Like, it's going on so good. Anyways, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next video. No makeup as well, because I don't like traveling makeup. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I might just call and catch a plane. I might just come see you today. You wait on stuck. Getting closer.